Hello, my name is Luke and today's video will be about a new feature extraction update in our Trimble Business Center 560 release. In this release we have introduced a new pole and sign inclination feature. You can access this feature by opening up a mobile mapping or point cloud data set that includes either poles and or signs. Here I have a data set that includes an electrical pole. If I go ahead and press the extract point features command which can be found in the point cloud ribbon and highlighted in red here, the extract point features command pane window will open. We will go ahead and change the extraction type to pull and leave it as a manual extraction. Since we have selected a manual extraction, we will have to select the pull ourselves. You can select anywhere on the pull. Going down the command window, we land on the point ID field. You can add a point ID. For this case, I will go ahead and leave it as one and the layer as points. Before this video, I went ahead and created a feature code for an electrical pull, to which I gave the code EP. To be able to use and save these attributes, you must add a feature code. Now under the attributes pane, you have, to associate each, you have to associate each attribute to its name, diameter with diameter, height with height, and so on and so forth. As you can see here, all the names have been associated to the proper attribute. I'll know. now go ahead and extract the poll attributes. Now that the extraction is completed, you can see that the poll is highlighted in magenta and the command window fields have all been populated. The horizontal coordinates and the elevations are given, as well as the diameter, the height, the poll inclination, and the inclination direction of the poll. We will focus on the two new attributes, the poll inclination and the poll inclination direction. The inclination direction coordinates are defaulted in north azimuth. However, you can change this in the project settings by going to Units, Azimuth, Display. You have the options of displaying the inclination direction in either North Azimuth, South Azimuth, or Bearing. As you can see here, when I select South Azimuth or Bearing, the value of the pole inclination direction shifts to respect the option I select. I'll go ahead and leave it as North Azimuth. We are now ready to add this point. You can do this by pressing the Add button at the bottom of the command window pane. If we zoom into the base of the pole, we can see that point 1 has been added to the plan view. It has also been added to the Project Explorer. If I go ahead and expand the point nodes, we can see that point 1 has been added. Opening up the Properties pane and scrolling down to the Feature Attributes section, we can see that our Feature Attribute values have been added. This new feature also works the same for extracting signs. To extract signs, follow the same procedure but change the extraction type to sign. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy using the new feature. Bye.